Hello Scorpios, this is Renee. Welcome to Embracing the Actress. Thank you for all that's like, shared, subscribed. Thank you for all that's hit the notification bell. If you have not, please do. Um, thank you for the love. This is going to be your love reading for um, the week of March 15th. Okay, I hope that your week last week was good and all that you needed it to be. If not, I hope that this week will be better. Uh, personal readings are available now. The information will be in the box below. Looking forward to interacting with you guys, getting to know you a bit. Okay, um, you know, going forward, we will have t-shirts and stuff of that nature for sale on my website. I can be reset embracingmattress.com as well. Um, the information for Twitter, the information for um, Facebook, um, Instagram, and all of the above are in the box down below as well. Um, you know, you want to take the message that resonates, leave what does not. Know that the information here could be masculine or feminine. This could be the person that you're thinking of. This could be for yourself or your cross watcher. Okay. Again, guys, thank you so much for your love, your patience, okay? Thank you for coming here and allowing me to share a moment of your time. I'm truly humble, and I'm grateful. Okay, Dana. High Priestess, you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching, okay? You you may be very intuitive. You may know things, okay? Not know how you know these things. You may be able to give good advice to people, okay? You may look at your own life, may not give yourself good advice because you second guess yourself. But when it comes to teaching other people, you, you're on point, okay? Hathor, receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Okay, but this does not mean that, you know what? That you don't need something. You have to know that it's okay for you, okay, to need help. It's okay, it's okay for you to ask for help. It's okay for you to believe that in a relationship that you're in, there's equal give and take, right? You have to inhale and exhale, okay? You want to think about your relationships like that. Give, take, okay? There shouldn't be one person doing all of this. Now, if people are coming to you and utilizing you for your brain power, how you feel about things and asking you all these questions so that they can get your insight, but they're not offering anything for your life, you know, there's there's a balance too. There's there's the need for, for some type of, of boundary, some type of, you know, guard against stuff like that, especially if you feel like people are taking advantage of you. Okay, high priestess and receptivity for Scorpio, please. Wheel of Fortune. Someone's receiving some some karma. Someone's up at night in their head about something. Someone can't sleep. Okay. High Priestess. Here we go. This clarifies this High Priestess here. Someone needs to use their intuition. Okay. And someone may be greedy. This Four of Pentacles. This is my greedy mofo card. Someone may be greedy. And this is why you're feeling this way. Feeling like there's no equal give and take. You may give, 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 give to this person. This person may take. They may be stingy with their money. Okay. They may be stingy with hoarding people. They may be be um, having other people around them that they're holding on to. Maybe from their past. Or, or, you know, this could be decisions that they are juggling. This could be ideas. Okay. Page of Cups. Temperance. You're being called to balance yourself. Have faith and balance. We'll get back to that. Let's see what else Spirit has for us. Come on. What do you have for Sign of Scorpio, Spirit? Okay. Six of Swords. Moving out of stormy waters. Ace of Wands, passionate new, new beginning. Nine of Wands, someone feeling like they want to give up, not want to move forward. Ten of Swords, after being in some sort of deception, some sort of 
heartbreak, some sort of betrayal. Okay, someone, two of swords here. Someone's definitely trying to figure out which way they want to go. Knight of swords. Okay, there's a lot of swords here. So someone's definitely in their feelings. Okay. A lot of swords here. Okay. So someone is definitely in their feelings about something. Okay. Absolutely. Someone, yeah. I'm not sure what's going on, but we're going to get to the bottom. <laughs> we're going to get to the bottom of it. Okay. But when I see these swords, okay, like for real, this is definitely emotions. Okay. This is definitely, you know, the way someone, someone is feeling. Okay. Some reason, some rhyme, some reason. This, this could be air sign people. Um, could be someone with air in the chart. This could be you as well. Okay. All right. But yeah, let's let's start at the beginning and then we'll get to the swords. But the swords are very overpowering, okay? Because I have one, two, three, four swords here. Okay, one cup, okay, and one wand, which is a fire sign. Hmm. Okay. So when it comes to the page of cups, this is usually someone that's saying, okay, you know what? I care about you, all right? I do, all right? This is uh, uh, usually some sort of message that someone brings to you. Could be some sort of love message, okay? Some sort of emotional message. This could have something to do with the baby as well. Okay, this this could be a, a young child or a baby card as well. You're being called to balance, temperance. Okay, sign of Sagittarius. Um, this could be um, you having to balance yourself based on this situation or whatever this information is that you're getting. Right. <clears throat> when it comes to the temp temperance, I want to just go over. You know, because I, I meditate on these cards and I want to give you what my meditation view is. And I understand that this may not be the view of another view, uh, uh, reader here on YouTube. Okay, and that's fine. But we all read things differently. So I can only give you my interpretation of the way that I feel when I see this card. Okay, so this is a Sagittarian. I'm a Sagittarian son. So this is patience. This is moderation. Okay. Whatever's going on, um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that whatever it is that you need is being met on the back inside. Your spirit angels are here to protect you, okay? They are. They're trying to balance everything out for you, give you peace, okay? Give you inner peace and good pers perspective, right, on the situation uh, that may not be in perspective right now, if that makes any sense. Okay, you may have a knowing. This is why you're being called to stand in your power as your high priestess, meaning with your intuition. You may not see something physically, but you feel it. Okay, is what I'm saying to you. Right? There may be a need to balance out some sort of relationship, some sort of fit, uh, friendship. There may be an imbalance of the masculine and feminine energy at this time. Okay, just because you're a man doesn't mean that you cannot house uh, feminine energy and vice versa. Okay. As long as you are showing that you're committed, you know, there's good love, commitment, respect, okay, to a relationship, you know, that's that could be good, you know, I'm saying, right? If you are in a relationship where you can, where you're going through something, you do have the power to fix it. You guys just have to work forward and move, um, excuse me, work together and move forward, right? If you're single, okay, you're learning yourself. You're learning who you are, what you like, what you don't like, what's okay, what's acceptable, what's not. And you may be doing the work on yourself at this time, okay? And to vibrate and vibrate yourself to a higher level of frequency so that you will attract the mate that you want in your life. That's for the single people. Back to the other people. Someone's moving out of a situation, okay, where they were taught many lessons. These are the lessons that you are bringing with you, which is some sort of baggage that you're bringing forward to to the next relationship or to the next thing, okay? You're bringing that with you. This could also be um, 
for me, I also see that this could be people, okay? Like, again, that would be in the baggage, but you're bringing um, things that have happened to you forward, okay? And in the moonlight means that, to me, that it could be that these are secret things that you have not revealed to someone, that you really don't know how to, that you don't, you, you maybe have not talked about. It could be that you're trying to move forward, okay, and at this time you haven't revealed yourself fully to another person, okay, and that could be something that has to be dealt with too, but you want to have a passionate beginning with someone, all right, a new beginning of some nature. When I see passionate new beginning, I'm thinking that, that this is a person, okay, that wants to, to, to maybe start something on a level of not too serious, you know, seeing where it goes, seeing what happens, stuff of that nature, okay? This is someone that's not trying to, you know, be all in right away. This is the passion. This is the spark. This is the start of something, okay? This is you getting happy about something. This is the action moving towards that new thing, okay? And then you have the nine of wands where someone's feeling like they also want to give up on something. They've been going through a battle. Something has always been a battle. You know, maybe, you know, you've always not seen eye to eye or, or it's been a continuous thing where you guys are butting heads on a certain thing in your relationship. Okay. Uh, it could be that someone's getting tired of this. All right. Someone's still dealing with a certain situation and they don't know what to do, right? But it seems to me that if you keep pushing, as per this card, keep pushing, you'll be able to get to the other side, okay? And this is after some sort of betrayal, some sort of heartache, something that hurts you bad, okay? This is you having to push. You know, if this is a relationship that you're pushing for, then yes, you're having to heal yourself and know that not, not give up, okay? But yeah, this is something that really, really, really took a toll on you mentally, physically, emotionally, okay? Some sort of backstabbing happened. Bow, bad mouthing, someone maybe was talking about you, something. Something where, you know, that something collapsed here. Some severing of ties, you had to say bye to someone, something right? Then you have the two of swords here where you're in your feelings. You're at some sort of stalemate with someone trying to figure out what you want to do. And you have a decision that you need to make and you don't know which one you're going to make right now. This knight of swords, okay, is someone that is ambitious. They have drive. They're determined. They're going to go for whatever it is, right? They want to make sure that they are taking the chance to have the life that they feel that they want for themselves. They're going to go and charge forward. Okay. Now let's break this down here. Now, like I said, I see this with two different collectives. Okay. Now either something is going on where, like I said, someone's offering just a little bit of themselves and you're having to balance because you might not be getting what you need from this person. Okay, you're getting a little bit of emotion, but not where you need it to be. And this could be a message coming towards you of, okay, hey, I'm, I'm willing and able to offer this little bit to you. But like I said, someone here went through a hard time, okay, and was only able to offer a certain amount of something. Again, a small amount with this, with this Ace of Wands, okay. But there was some stress and strife after some sort of decision was made to, to stab someone in the back. And someone is trying to get past that and is having a very hard time trying to let that go. So someone here is trying to make a decision on if they're going to go towards someone that is saying, you know what, I want to work towards this, okay? I want you. I want to make sure that we're in this together, okay? I'm willing to do whatever it is that I have to do at this time to make this work, okay? So the choice here is if you go forward to a, to a passionate new beginning with someone or if you stay in this relationship where someone is telling you they're going to put in the work now.
it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive all. Receive the highest energy of all. Excuse me. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. This could be why you're having an issue with the person that you're currently with. Maybe they have children. Or maybe you have children that is impacting the situation. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Anything else, Spirit? Go on once. Go on twice. Three times the charm. Okay, that was it. That card and that deck. Now, if this person has children, nine times out of ten, and I'm hearing this spirit right now, okay? Just want to, I'm not sure who this is for or if it's for anyone, but I'm just going to say it because I feel it um, and intuitively if someone here has children, okay? Um, this could be why the situation is not moving forward the way that you need it to be, okay? This person could be attached to the significant other. The one that they're not with anymore. This person could be fearing that their children may not like the situation of them with someone else. If they're not with the mother or the father of their child. You know, something of that nature I'm hearing. Rose Quartz, love life. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. And this is the decision that you have to make, right? If this is what you want to do or if you want to move to something else. Okay? receptivity this person could be given to their children and not given to you they may not have enough time for you okay there, there could have been like i said some backstabbing to where you felt that they were given to another situation and not giving all of their time attention to you okay malachite prosperity there's a positive shift in your flow of divine support spirit is telling you here we're here i'm here to help you i'm here to support you whatever your decision may be okay Whatever it is, Spirit is here. Whatever decision. Okay. True manifestations are powered by service and love. So whatever it is that you're manifesting, Spirit has heard you, okay? That you knows that you are, are are trying to be in alignment with spirit, okay, in the universe, right? And whatever it is that you're trying to bring into your life, it, it is under love. It is, is as per love. There's no ill intent, okay? Know that your intuition is powerful. Know that whatever it is that you're feeling is right. Okay, if you're questioning anything right now, okay, we have a flipper. Try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. Okay, that means try to smile. Okay, because you wouldn't. You'd be amazed at how much you smiling at someone can make their day, okay? Be nice to others, as, as I'm sure that you are all the time. But just, you know, do something uh, that uplifts you and uplifts another person. Whew, okay, Scorpio, this has been your message, okay? Um... Be back next week if you want a personal reading. The information's in the box below. Send a love and light to all. If you have not hit that notification bell and like so and subscribe to my page, please do. So that I can continue to spread these messages and share as well. Peace out, guys.